After playing and getting the Platinum for Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, I wanted to play another racing game. I was considering going for the Need for Speed Platinum, but in the end, I decided to go with Gran Turismo 7. I have spent so many hours in this game previously, and I have actually achieved the Platinum Trophy on this game back in 2022, after putting over 300 hours into it. This time, however, I wanted to make sure that I got the Platinum in at least half of that time. There are a total of 54 trophies, with the last two being the most time consuming. We can quite easily break this trophy hunt down into three parts. Part one is just to play the game and pick up the easy trophies by going through all of the menu bugs and getting them completed. Part two will be the miscellaneous trophies where you have to do specific things that you most likely won't be doing in your general playthrough. And then finally in part three, this is where the main grind of the game comes into play, so we will be grinding out races for trophies here. So let's get into part one. As an introduction into the game, we are placed into what is called a music rally. Now, while none of the future trophies ever need us to go into this mode again, this mode does help us pick up our first trophy. All we had to do was move up five or more positions in a single lap and we received the trophy, moving on up. We are then greeted by Sarah and we start our first menu book for the trophy, Living Your Car Life. And it is now time to get into our first actual race of the game and nothing music related. Amazingly, despite the fact that I had not played this game in probably over a year at this point, and I only had played an arcade racing game, I managed to have a really good first race, so much so that I had completed a race without both leaving the track or having any collisions. And because of this, I received the trophy, Clean Racer. I went into a couple more races related to the menu book and eventually collected the three cars that I needed and for completing the first car collecting menu I received the trophy Student of Motoring History. We're on to the next book now and as I am making my way through them I managed to actually win a race with a lead of 10 seconds or more for the trophy by a country mile. It was at this point where I needed to start upgrading and tuning my car in order to actually stay on the podium as I was starting to end up finishing back in 4th and 5th place, which isn't what we needed. So after buying and equipping some tuning parts, I received the trophy, a taste of tuning. This definitely worked as the next race we went into I ended up finishing on the podium, which was actually the 10th time I finished on the podium, which gave us the trophy, podium fixture. Then after finishing the next race in the cup that I am currently partaking in, I have won on 10 different tracks for the trophy all rounder. And guess what, we took part in a couple more races and we drove the length of the Angeles Crest Highway, which is 66 miles long, for the trophy Going the Distance Angeles Crest Highway. Now this next trophy was a close one, what we had to do here was win a race with the lead of 0.5 seconds or less. Thankfully there was a mission challenge that we could do where we had to overtake and come first for the gold medal. After the last corner I was still in second coming up to the finish line but I managed to just overtake and get ahead on the finish line which resulted in us getting the trophy by a whisker. Now we finally get to use some of the more powerful cars in the game. In this race, I managed to reach a speed of 200 miles an hour for the trophy, join the 200 mile an hour club. We are now back in the shop, but this time we need to make sure our car is more aerodynamic. So after buying and equipping some aerodynamic parts, we received the trophy looking good. One of the things that I decided to do are the circuit experiences. By completing the different sectors in circuit experience, I received the trophy, the first step to mastery. Unfortunately, I did need to buy a car shortly after this as I needed it for the next menu. Thankfully though, this was also part of a trophy. All I had to do was buy a pickup truck and I got the trophy, heavy haulage. Another menu related trophy now and for this we had to just widen our car's body. So after heading into the shop we widened our car's body and we received the trophy, warning wide load. Yeah, boy. It was back to racing now as we are closing in on completing the large majority of the menu books. Well, the ones that were here when the game first launched as those are the ones that you need for this trophy. After completing some more races and getting cars as prizes, we now have a total of 50 cars stored in our garage for the trophy Motormania. Now it's time to just finish up the menu, however I actually 
didn't realize I was at the end of the menu despite the fact there were fireworks happening in the background. So I had actually went AFK for quite a while to then come back and just get this trophy straight away after loading up the menu section. So for fulfilling the requirements for the ending, we received the trophy finale. And with that, part one has been completed, so it is time that we move on to part two. Part two is a lot of miscellaneous stuff that I need to do, so this is going to be something that I just end up speeding through. Our first stop was into Brand Central to get myself a new car. The new car that I needed to get was an electric car, and after getting this, I received the trophy. Let's go carbon neutral. Now the next two trophies I could have done at the exact same time, but this is me we are talking about and I never make things simple for myself. The next two trophies require me to take a pit stop during a race which featured fuel consumption, so a race that actually reduced the amount of fuel that you have. The other trophy requires me to take a pit stop and change my tyres. Now these two things can be done at the exact same time like I said. I quite literally have to choose if I want to change the tyres and I even hovered over changing the tyres but ended up clicking don't change. So we only ended up getting the trophy for filling the car up with fuel called fill her up. That's what she said. I did then eventually change my tyres but this was just several hours later for the trophy new treads. And after that disaster I was back doing what the game was intended for and that was racing. I was making sure to do all of the circuit experiences getting the best possible trophy in the game that I could for them and while doing this I actually got two quick trophies. First I drove the length of one complete 24 hours of Le Mans race which was 2209.536 kilometers or 1372.942 miles for the trophy going the distance 24 hours of Le Mans and then I completed five tracks in circuit experience for the trophy circuit apprentice. I had next driven a formula car for the first time for the trophy formula first timer. Of course this was all still part of the circuit experience and I completed 15 tracks in total for the trophy circuit master. I think it's time that we do a quick fire round on the next trophies as we still have quite a few miscellaneous trophies to get through. We completed a race without any assist settings for the trophy no assist is required. One of the cars that I needed to get a trophy for later on showed up in the legends car dealership and for purchasing a car from here we got the trophy living with the legend. I drove a lap of the Tsukuba circuit in under 1 minute for the trophy done in 60 seconds. This next race was in the rain but it resulted in two trophies. I had driven the length of Route 66 which is 3945 kilometers or 2451 miles for the trophy going the distance Route 66 and for completing the license track in the rain we got the trophy rain royalty. Okay, quick fire round done now as we enter the license phase of things. We have a lot of things that we need to do here, but the main objective is just to get gold in all of the licenses. I completed all of the races, but not getting gold in them for the trophy fully licensed. I then took a quick break as this was taking a while to get my car clean 10 times in a row for the trophy squeaky clean. You don't actually need to do this 10 times in a row, but it's just easier that way. Then after two days, I finally managed to be good enough to get gold in all of the licenses for the trophy hard work pays off. The rain race was definitely a lot easier than I expected. I was expecting to be stuck on that one for quite a while, but I had done it in just a couple of attempts, improving each time. So let's move on to the next trophy now and this required me to run out of fuel in a race. To do this, I set up a custom race and made sure that the fuel would be at the highest possible consumption rate. So while everyone else pitted in the first lap, I continued and just lost all of the fuel at the start of lap two for the trophy running on empty. I think it's just time for another quick fire round of trophies as we are still not near the end of part two. Winning 10 races on dirt track gives you the trophy Dean the Dirt. I increased a car's body rigidity 10 times for the trophy toughening up. I purchased a turbo or supercharger 10 times giving us the trophy a bit of boost. We bought a safety car, this gives us the trophy safety first. I made the BMW GR3 car my main car, then I went into the photoscape section and took a picture of the car at the Nürburgring for the trophy memento for the, from the Nürburgring. I then sat there and took 100 photos while in spaces for the trophy snap happy. I bought 10 sets of wheels at the GT Auto which gave us the trophy really good fun. Now I have 100 cars stored in my garage for the trophy no car no life. 
The reason I had that trophy is because of this trophy where I had to buy the same car 10 times which gave us the trophy firm favourite. Then finally for this quickfire round I earned 10,000 points in drift trials for the trophy Smoking Hut. After all of that we are now down to our 10 remaining trophies if you don't count the platinum. After these next two trophies we have completed 99% of part 2. The final 1% comes in the form of a trophy a little bit later on. I need to buy a car but I don't have the credits for it yet and that is partly because I bought this next vehicle. I really enjoy using this vehicle but there isn't many opportunities to actually use it. It is SRT Tomahawk and I need it for one specific thing and that is to go fast. I get these next two trophies at the exact same time. I need to reach a speed of 500 kilometers an hour or 311 miles an hour and then 600 kilometers an hour which is 373 miles an hour. And just a short time after starting the next race I reach both of these speeds for the trophy Speed Demon and Speed Arch Demon. Now for this next trophy I didn't technically play the game. I may have rubber banded my controller so the game would accelerate and go around the track itself as I needed to drive a total of 500 miles on oval tracks. Now that this is a very long time to do by yourself, easiest way to do it is of course using the rubber band. At the same time though I accidentally got another trophy. So once I thought I had done those 500 miles I left the race as this specific trophy doesn't pop while you're in the race and I received a trophy going the distance together the Atlantic for driving 5810 kilometers or 3610 miles and then the trophy round and round for driving those 500 miles. This is now the last time that I need to drive around an oval track. Well technically I didn't need to drive around an oval track, it's just quicker and easier to do it on an oval track. All I had to do was take part in 100 laps in time trials, which I did but completely missed when I got this trophy as I just wasn't paying attention at the time. But for doing so I received a trophy, Time Attacker. Now that was just some of the grinding that I had to do in part 3 and they took me several hours. So that is just a small percentage of what is to come. First of all I still need 2 more legendary cars which in total is going to cost me over 20 million credits. So I set out doing a race which took roughly 30 minutes giving me 700k in credits. Which of course comes to 1.4 million credits an hour. Which means I spent roughly 15 hours just getting that alone and in that time I only got 2 trophies. The first was just to take part in our first sports mode race. For this I received the trophy sports mode debut. By the way I need to complete another 49 of these later for another trophy. From doing the above credit method I had enough to finally get the last trophy for part 2 which was to take a picture of a car that I needed to buy. The car I bought was an Audi R18 TDI and I needed to take a photo of it at a specific location. And for doing so we received the trophy, Memento from Le Mans. And now we have come to the most grindy part of the game. Between now and me getting the Platinum Trophy we play the game for the next 2 weeks. The first week was just getting all of the credits that I need to buy the last 2 legendary cars. I decided to take my time with this spreading out how many races I needed each day so by the end of the week I had enough credits to use for when the cars were available. This next trophy though thankfully it also includes the miles covered by other races while playing online as we had travelled the entire German autobahn network which is 13,191 kilometers or 8,197 miles to receive the trophy going the distance together the autobahn. Now, all that stood in the way of the Platinum Trophy was the remaining 49 online races and one more legendary car as thankfully one of them had already appeared on the market. So let me give you a rundown of these 50 races in sport mode. Realistically I can do 3 an hour. If I start at 1pm I finish the race just after 1.10pm which means I missed out on being able to go straight into another race so I have to wait until 1.20pm to then do the same thing. In total I am looking at just under 20 hours of non-stop going into sport mode and racing to get this trophy. Now this is something that I didn't do. During the week I did as many races as as I could in my free time pretty much every single evening after work. By the weekend I still had 
25 races to go. So I got up early, went and got myself a drink and snacks for the entire day because I sat there on my Saturday to make sure that I got all of these 25 races done. I started at 11 a.m. on Saturday morning and finished 12 hours later as I did take breaks every now and then to finally get the trophy in depth mastery. Probably one of the grindiest trophies that I had ever done. And now it's just a waiting game. I can't get the platinum trophy for this game until the legendary car dealership updates with different cars. So I pretty much waited until midnight every single night to make sure that the car came. I could get the platinum trophy basically straight away. And thankfully I actually didn't have to wait too long. It just took an extra three days for the car to show up and it showed up on Boxing Day morning for me to receive the trophy, three legendary cars. Then of course getting the platinum trophy itself, Gran Turismo Platinum Trophy. Not the greatest name for a trophy, but I will take it. If you are looking to see some better Platinum Trophy names, click on the video on screen now for what YouTube will recommend, or click on the playlist to watch all the Platinum Trophy videos I have uploaded.